Hi to uh, Taurus, how are you? This is your reading for the 10th to the 16th of February. And I am using the Wildwood Tarot and I'm using the Romance Angel deck and I'm using the uh, Witch's Oracle, then from Wayne Dyer, the Inspiration, then the Angel Feather and the Surrender deck. And I <clears throat> and I have to correct myself. It's not the a uh, or, uh, angel romance deck uh, or tarot. It's the oracle romance uh, angel romance oracle deck. You all know it. It's the pink deck. Look. Uh, sorry. Let's get it right. It's that deck, the romance angel oracle deck. From Doreen Virtue and Taurus this is a special week and that's why I've put an extra oracle card in um, I'm not doing mid monthlies I think I might do it and see how the time goes but just in case I've put one romance card in here because on Friday the 14th it is uh, Valentine's Day okay so here we go for the first um, card you have the four of cups to four of vessels and it also says boredom so are you too much in your head are you bored you seem to be focused what is in front of you and not what is around you isn't that lovely I think that's really amazing so be aware of what is happening around you and come out of your head. Don't be depressed. Don't be bored. Make a decision. There's so much on offer. Have a look what is on offer. That could be a new beginning that you're not seeing. So because you've got the fool and that is the, uh, the wanderer in this deck. And he's standing on the cliff and you can see the mist. So something is not clear. So this is quite a nice card depicted next to the Four of Cups. See the rainbow. You can see the rainbow. Sorry. Uh, you can see the rainbow by his feet here. So perhaps you can see that. There are things that you cannot see because you are too much in your head and you're bored. You're just sitting there. Get into action and take that leap of faith as there is a new beautiful beginning. Usually, uh, I would say on Wednesday, but I think if you open up on Monday, you can already see the new beginning. Make that choice. There's more on offer than you can see. Then we have the Seven of Stones, and the Seven of Stones is the Seven of Pentacles. What you sow, you shall reap. And this card, it says, heal. So, if you come into action, you will heal, get going, make a decision. You will be healing on Friday, and you might get the results. There will be fruits that you can pluck. Okay, because you most probably have invested in something and you're bored waiting, it's coming to fruition. That's the other side of the story. And here you've got the four of bows and that's the four of wands. You might have bought a new house or rented a new house. You've got that job, but usually the four of wands is a wedding celebration. So there will be celebrations at the weekend. Awesome. You might meet people, you might be going to other sort of in celebrations like a birthday or a wedding from somebody else, not your own, because this indicates a wedding. So perhaps you might get um, asked on Valentine's Day to get married. Then it won't be being bored because you'll have to get into action, action, action. And then you've got the eight of Vessels. 
the Eight of Thistles. You want this new beginning. It's a rebirth, a new beginning. You want this exciting new beginning and you want to leave the old routine behind. You want something new. Well, it's coming in big time. Okay. Now, Taurus, there might be somebody that's codependent. This could be you or there could be somebody else. And um, codependency is an addiction. So this is a lot like the devil's card. Uh, addictions or bad habits are affecting your romance life. So don't be codependent. Don't be depending on the other to propose to you. Perhaps you could take the leap of faith and propose to the other. Nowadays you're allowed to do that. Ooh, exciting. Take that leap of faith. They will say yes. Then you have got that new beginning. Be the one. Okay, but remember, don't be, don't be careful of codependency, whether it's you or an other. You've got the warning, they will bear, and that will be pretty heavy. Perhaps that's the new beginning that you want. You don't want somebody to depend on you or you want to depend on somebody else. Because you know, that is like being feeling imprisoned. And that is more or less what I get from her here. She's fed up being manipulated or being lent on or to ex be expected to do this or that. Okay. Now, for the surrender deck, we have surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisonous you, and that is what's happening here. If you are um, being, uh, if you are being beholden or codependent on your partner or your partner on you, that will bring resentment up in the future if you're not together yet try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life go with the wind that is what i'm getting with this card do your own thing be your own person in a relationship you are something separate and they are something separate but you are something together equilibrium balance that is what it is all about and communication and love etc etc you've got the silver angel feather connect with the moon today is sunday and i am putting this out today and it's the full moon in leo so the angels advise you to sit outside or walk in the moonlight the moon's energies will lighten up your path and protect you on your way now this is a silver angel feather and we haven't got um, um, a chakra silver but the closest that you can get to silver because the picture is to at my eyes also grey and, and white, so that could be your soul chakra, okay, and that is Metatron, and your soul, soul chakra is on the top of your head, that's the secretional chakra, the, 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 no, uh, the crown chakra, sorry, the crown chakra, so open up your mind to new possibilities, take that leap of faith, don't be codependent on anything or anybody. Only on yourself. Wow. Okay, you can meditate on silver. You can wear silver. Um, this will bring you also to balance. Okay, my darlings. Then from the inspiration card, we have release the need for the ego. The ego tells you that you are separate from everyone else, or separated from everyone else. And more than anything, it fears your living uninspired life. Why? 
because when you are in spirit, you have no need for the ego and have no illusion of being the false self. Therefore, therefore, the ego has no influence over you. Oh, that is so true. Don't let anything have influence on you. Don't be. If it has influence, then you are codependent on it. So be codependent on yourself and not your ego. The ego, that is negative. It will bring you down. Okay? Then we've got the mortal and pestle. Symbolically, the mortar and pestle represents sexual com uh, completion. The unity of man and female influences. A balance. The mortar like most cup or the bowl shaped object is seen as a female a vessel. The pestle is the uh, phallic symbol is by itself a tool of destruction, but in combination with the mortar, it is an instrument of creation. It is time to get busy. Create your own recipe for things to come, but be very careful in the con uh, concoction you choose to use, because some of the ingredients could be poisonous like the ego. So plan your life, bring things together like the mortar and pestle. Bring your, open your heart, open your solar plex, open your crown chakra. That is like a concoction. That is you, your inner self. Your beauty, shine, but exclude the ego. Wow, that is so coming together. I love this reading. It's really beautiful, Taurus. So I hope you have given you enough food for thought. So enjoy this and try. If you don't understand it the first time, then please look at it again. Play it back and look at it and listen to it again. Now the incantation that you can say whilst you're sitting quietly or in meditation. You can use the inspiration or the colour of the silver uh, feather or you can wear the silver but you can concentrate on silver as well. But you can also um, surrender whilst you're sitting quietly or meditate to resentment. That is also gives you a negative vibe, a bitter feeling. The incantation that you can say is with mortar and pestle, mix it up, ideas and plans, tossed in a cup, crush and grind them one by one, until I feel they are perfectly, perfectly done. Yeah, some things you will crush, like your ego. If you don't, if you don't, it will crush you. Wow. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, I hope you like this reading and video. Please give us the thumbs up and remember, I think I said it in the beginning, please become a um, uh, subscribe to your favorite readers and hit on that subscription, uh, subscription button and the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live um, and with your favorite readers because YouTube is deleting non-active or hardly active accounts. That is because they're doing updating the system, changing the system from the old to the new. So make sure that you don't lose your reader, okay? Or your channel of your preference. I hope to see you in the life, my beautiful cyber babes and new people. I hope to meet you in the life. I go live every night and you can get a free card, but you can also get the super chat or super stickers. If you would like an extended reading, then go into the description box below the video and there you'll see the website and the email address and more information. Take care.
Have a brilliant week. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day. And let that ego go. Please share and like and give us the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao.